Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorial Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Rocket League uh, DX11 error or it's not responding on 64-bit Windows and how we can fix this up. So let's get started. So first thing what you have to do is you just have to go here in the taskbar, right click and move to taskbar, which is very basic, simple. And if Rocket League is running over here, so you just have to select it and go for end task. This is a very basic step. Once it is done, you just have to close this. And what you have to do is you just have to follow this instruction that you just have to press Windows and R key all together, which will give you the run command. And from here, you just have to type percentage local app data percentage. And you just have to press OK. This will take you to this and from here as you can see that we have epic games launcher over here so you just have to select this and there is an op folder called save it so you just have to select this and from here there is a folder called web cache or web 47 so you just have to select both these folders and you just have to do delete it this is what you have to do and now this is what you have to do and you just have to do this and once it is done what you have to do is you have to close this and next step is all about you just have to open your rocket league over here sorry epic games and from here as you can see that we have three dot menu right so you just have to right click and there is an option called verify so you just have to click on this so what happens is the game get get verified so it's not a big deal so this is what you have to do and followed by the fourth step which i would like to make you notice you guys is that you just have to go here on the settings you just have to click on the settings now from here what you have to do is just have to scroll down and keep scrolling down and you have an option called troubleshoot which you just have to select it and from here there is an option called troubleshoot so what you have to do is you just have to go for troubleshoot again and see whether any issues are not so you just have to go for it so what happens is most probably by doing this the issue will be completely fixed and once it is done what you have to do is you just have to restart after done with this you just have to do a normal restart on a windows pc and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful for you guys and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out